Hello once again, and guess what we're going to be playing? Manic Miner. Can you guess the system? I bet you can't. It's the Atari XL XE. And this is my first ever game on Atari XL XE. Um, don't know nothing about the computer itself. Uh, never a computer I've never ever played on before. I've never even seen an Atari XL or an XE or any of the models. Um, well, I'll say the 8-bit family. I'm not talking about the consoles. But it was a console. Was it a computer? I don't know. Um, seen some pictures of it. Was it a console? Was it a computer? Anyway, we're going to be playing Manic Miner. Uh, this game came out in 2016. Apparently, um, the 8-bit family did not get a version of Manic Miner for some strange reason. Um, but we're not going to get into that because, as I said, I do not know anything at all about any of the Atari 8-bit family and the systems. I know a little bit about the 2600, and that's probably about it. Um, but anyway, it's enough waffling. As I said, this game came out in 2016, and it looks pretty decent, so let's play the game. Well, where do I start this thing? Hmm, what do I do to start the game? I would help if I had the emulation, the mouse on the emulation, the cursor on the emulation. Right, but anyway, enough waffling. Um, <coughs> excuse me, as far as I know, this, jo this game is joystick only, but I am using emulation, so I can sort of cheat and use keys. Um, pretending it's a joystick. Um, emulation I'm using is Atari 800 Win. Is it? Hang on. Yeah, hang on. Atari 800 Win Plus. Oh shit, I forgot the key and I think I've bounced up. Ah, uh, Atari 800 Win Plus 4.1. That's the emulation I'm using. Um, a bit of a bastard to configure, as I thought it would just be like a Commodore 64 Amstrad CPC emulator, you just um, load it up and it runs. But this you have to insert ROMs and all that. Um, but I'm, I'm not, I shouldn't be reviewing the emulator, I should be reviewing the game. Um, I've lost count how many times I've played this game. I've played it so many times on different systems. Uh, it is a classic. It is a classic. And I've got to say, this this version is brilliant. I like it. Very good. So it just proves that the Atari 8 bits was quite good. It's just a shame I missed out on it. But I had an Amstrad CPC 464 back in the day and a Commodore 64 and yeah got to say the music on this is absolutely brilliant I like the music on it it's got a little bit it's got quite a lot of depth to it unlike the normal equip versions this is, sounds quite good alright what sound chip does the Atari um, XLXC have? Is it the Amy chip? Or something like that? The Amy 1 chip? Is that true or false? As I don't, I don't know nothing about the system. I was just looking up on it, just curious to know what um, the specs are on these computers. Oh, I fucked it. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I fucked up then. But, yeah, this version is... It is a good version, I like it. I think it's brilliant. Plays, I like the music. But it certainly plays <laughs> a manic minor. You know, I like it. So, if you don't know about this game, originally came out on the ZX Spectrum back in 1983. Um, first released by Bug Bite. Matthew Smith was the co uh, coder. 
Right, this one you've got to judge to perfection. It's quite a difficult level, this one. I'm surprised I got this far after waffling away. Alright, let's try. I think I'm bombed up. But, right, right, oh, can I get away with it? Oh, Ooh, God, right, there's a knack to this level. Oh. Good job, only three keys are required to play this game. So don't get that one there just yet. You've got to get this one first. Can be a little bit pixel perfect here. So, oh. Right, so now you get that last one, but wait till he's right up the top. So he's coming back down, don't get it yet, because otherwise if he comes down, you get that, and he's gonna block them, block that entrance up, and you can't get in, and you have to restart the game. Here he comes, now you get in. Eugene's Lair. Now this is processing plant that looks like Pac-Man. Uh, yeah, the music is really good on this. Oh fuck! But I think let me turn the music off. I think this doesn't have any sound effects. It does when you die, but you can't hear the man when he jumps. Mind of William. Uh, so ah oh, fuck! I'm not gonna have another go, but I've got to say. That is a fantastic version of Manic Miner. Really good. Um, I will be playing more games on the Atari XL XE, I think, uh, to see what their games are like. Really, I'm quite impressed with Manic Miner. Um, so, yes, definitely will be playing more games on, um, on the Atari system, the Atari 8 bits, or the 8 bit family, the XL XE, or whatever it's called. Yeah. Right, the sound chip, is it called the Amy One? Or something like that. Or have I got it totally wrong, or was it some other girl's name? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, brilliant game, brilliant version of the game. Like the music, excellent. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.